started having problems with one of the discs on my gaming PC. Now, it's a traditional hard drive, not an SSD. And the problem is, that, um, if I'm copying files off it, it'll start to um, make the PC unresponsive as it tries to read the data from the bad areas. Now, I've got a backup of all that, so that's not a big deal. Um, but there is an area that I didn't quite back up as I thought, so I, I did want to try and retrieve as much as possible. Now, the inbuilt uh, disk checking tool in Windows uh, is okay, but it takes hours to run. Um, and what I, I really wanted was a tool that can um, t sort of be set so that I can run it for an hour and then I can save where I got to and then I can run it for another hour at some other point um, and kind of do a bit more each time and then hopefully start repairing some of these areas so that uh, the other tools like Windows Explorer don't start locking up. Um, so I found this tool called Disk Genius. Uh, which is running now and you can see how you can set the cylinder range up here um, so we're up to if you hover on uh, the blocks it tells you the cylinder number 353439 um, so I can essentially get up to that point um, when I'm happy or want to turn the PC off I can hit stop and then next time I can just plug into the uh, cylinder number that I want to start from uh, and the same goes for repairing so this is just the analyze mode uh, I can do the repair mode next time and pick the cylinder ranges that I want to go back over so if, it, if there's a particularly badly damaged part of the disk that I want to concentrate on I don't have to go through the whole thing every single time, which is really time consuming on a four gigabyte disk, uh, four terabyte disk. Um, and that's what I was finding with the inbuilt tools with Windows. It's just they took forever. Uh, and then you couldn't really go back to the place that you wanted to without having to rescan the whole disk, which took so long. Um, so I'm kind of making notes of the areas that I want to uh, go back over and at least then make it a little bit more responsive. Um, I can just check some of the files um, and uh, see whether I can get off some of the ones that I didn't actually manage to back up, although those have been actually backed up into Google Photos, so I'm not too bothered. I just like to have the originals sometimes when they've been taken on a smartphone, uh, so that's where that area is uh, has had the trouble. So uh, I just want to recommend this tool. It is really quite neat. I like the fact that you can uh, specify a timeout as well, so if you want to bring that down a little bit, it'll um, take less time to go over the bad areas. That's the timeout when it's trying to read data off the disk. So um, it, if it can't get it in uh, three seconds uh, currently, then it will flag it as damaged or severe. Um, and uh, you could bring that down a little bit so that if you had a really badly damaged disk, it wouldn't take forever to, to go through those badly uh, written cylinders. So um, I would say give this a try if you've got problems it's good for checking the disk um, and there's the uh, the repair mode as well which looks uh, like it should do the trick for what I want to do but as, a, as ever just make sure you've got backups and then uh, it isn't a big deal if the disk that you've got has problems.